Hello! This video is a quick overview of the content interactive that was developed to link to the um, leads and sales system. So um, what we're going to do is quickly go through the various paths and um, uh, content types that we have available on this system. You'll see here on the left we have uh, catalogs and ebooks, journals, then websites, a video gallery, and an add a customer path. Catalogs and ebooks are just um, PDF content of any type of material that a customer might wish to receive digitally from a conference rather than a printed form. So here we've loaded up things like um, catalogs, brochures, flyers, and we've also used it to um, promote or show sample ebooks. Um, the next thing here, uh, the next content path for journals is um, the same thing. It's journal PDFs that have been collected and loaded up. Uh, their covers and, and um, table of contacts, contents and a few sample chapters that have been bound together. Um, and we use those to, um, if the customer is interested, we can send them a link to that journal on Wiley Online Library with instructions on how to download um, the sample issue or sign up for e-alerts. The third is a collection of any kind of websites um, that might you know, tie into a particular conference. This conference here that we'll be looking at today, the sample was um, was done as a um, uh, for a chemical show. So you'll see here that on the top, this little statement, uh, it's called action statement, is refers directly to chemistry. This next path, the video gallery, is an optional path. And if you do not have video um, on your plan, you would then have only four paths. It would be these three buttons and this fifth one here, the add a customer, um, which would never, which is always um, mandatory. So um, let's go through the paths and you'll see here that I've already um, loaded up my information. Uh, if I had badge scanning, I could simply scan my badge and this information would populate. Um, I also have the ability to see here the um, customer notes. I could in input anything here. Um, and just like on the leads and sales system, I can add myself to various email lists to opt in or postal lists. Um, I could do that as well. Um, or even some of the uh, special features or engagement strategies you might be using at the booth. So finally, a new system, a new, a new um, capability we have is the ability to load up some classifications. So customers can classify themselves as what they are. If you're walking them through, you can help them do this or they can do it themselves. So once we accept the data, we um, go back to our content paths. And you'll see here, um, we'll go through the catalogs and ebooks quickly. Now, uh, the marketers that developed this have decided to categorize their content to catalogs and brochures and sample ebooks. Um, you could do it however you wish. You don't even need to have a category. Um, it's just that sometimes there's a lot of content that shows up. Um, so here you'll see that these are the catalogs and brochures that they've loaded up. They have um, just like this works just like a touch screen. You would um, open up the content. You can click twice to enlarge. Uh, you can click and drag. So once you're done looking up, you can also open up the thumbnails and see all four pages at once. Um, go back to the items, close the PDF, and select something else. So if you're interested in any of these items, you would click here to um, have them mailed to yourself. Um, if you decide to reduce your category, you could then decide to look at sample ebooks, for example. And with the ebooks that they've done here, they've loaded up, they collected some cover graphics, uh, and they put some sample chapters together to create mini ebooks rather than loading up the entire book. Um, the idea is to give people just a look at what the what the various the contents are a little bit you know a hint about the style and the writing and the content so um, what they decided to do here is for any of these ebooks the link on wiley.com was emailed to them the actual book landing site so you'll see here that um, when you go back that I've collected five five materials in my cart so just looking quickly at the journals the same thing and the only real difference 
between the journals and the digital materials is the email they receive, um, as I mentioned already. And in this case, um, they had a lot more categories to manage, so it made sense for them to um, load their content, con content up in different categories. So here you'll just see some that have more and some that have less. If you can click on any of these journals, open them up, you can uh, view the content, um, you can open up the thumbnails as I mentioned already and decide to go wherever you'd like to see some of the items. Um, so that's again, so if you're interested in the journals, you would select those and those would get mailed to you. Videos, um, sorry, websites, as I mentioned, is really just a collection of all the various landing sites, Facebook pages, um, communities. It's a good way of visually representing all the different sites that are available. And once you enter into one of these, you would go to the site and navigate only within the site. You couldn't go into the address bar and exit away unless you close it. Um, and we do this so that customers don't come to the booth and just start you know, looking up things on the internet, things you don't want going on in your booth. Um, so here, uh, once again, anything that you select to be emailed gets emailed as a link in your digital materials. Um, so the websites and the digital materials get co combined into a single email, uh, and the journals get sent on a separate journal-related email that explains how to download them. Video galleries, once again, quickly, just here we have loaded up a sample get video. And here's where you would show content about Wiley Online Library or con you know videos about Wiley Learning Institute or Wiley Plus, anything um, that's just more like an overview. It's just for viewing. It it's, it's, um, allows the customers to kind of get a quick glimpse of many of the different things. So it's just a very standard video player. And like anything, you, once the video starts, you can stop it. You can pause it. You can rewind it. And you can close it also. Um, so now that we're done, we have a collection of items. Um, we would submit the session and um, we would start over. So uh, at any point, again, you go in and you load up, you, you know, the customer can go and look at whatever they're interested in. Um, the idea of using PDFs and samples of the various pieces um, was just so that people could use free content as opposed to um, purchasing the entire journal PDFs. And um, what we've done is we've created a training video on the, um, on the conference training site that shows how to manipulate PDFs within um, Adobe Pro. So this ensures that, you know, all of your, your, um, your pages are the same size that uh, there are no crop marks or edit marks or color marks and that when you turn the pages you see that it flips and it doesn't skip and jump. Um, so if this is of interest to you, you should speak with your exhibit manager who would be happy to work through um, how to load this up and make it link with your iPad lead retrieval system or your point of sale slates. So that's really it. Thank you and have a great day.